I had no idea what was going on. I recently made the shorts in Vogue 1912. I really, really love the way the back pockets are designed. And I decided that I wanted to make another pair, but in a blue denim fabric. I keep all of my fabric scraps in this pink box. I knew I had some leftover denim fabric from LA Finch Fabrics, so I just decided to take this pink box and dump it out and pull out all the denim scrap pieces that I had so that I can make up another pair of these shorts. just love it when you're working on a pattern that has already been cut out. You can just pull out all the pieces that you need and get going. Alright, I have been sewing away and here are the shorts so far. What I did different in this pair is I did lengthen them a little bit and I did a little more top stitching than I did in my last pair. And this is the back. Now all I need to do is secure the waistband and then add a button to the top and then also hem the bottom and then I'll be done. So I was in the middle of trying to complete my shorts and all of a sudden my sewing machine just started acting really really weird. So it was making a crazy noise and the thread was getting all bunched up. I had no idea what was going on so I decided to take my machine in to the sewing back store and it turned out that my needle was bent and I don't know how it got bent because I had just put a new one in there. But anyway I'm glad that's all it was. So it's all raining and I was running in and out. I had my hat on so that my hair wouldn't get wet. So anyway, while I was out, I decided to stop at Joann's because I was like, hey, I'm out anyway. Let's stop by and see what they have. And I picked up some more Sherpa. I love Sherpa. I'm thinking I want to make another sweatshirt with this. So I have that. And then I even bought some more of this knit fabric, but in pink. So this is the fabric that I have made like a ton of beige garments in and this time they had it in pink so I'm thinking I want to make a raglan top one of the new patterns I think it's a simplicity pattern maybe I'll put it on the screen but I want to make that and I have some of the beige fabric in this color left so I'm thinking I want to mix in maybe some beige and pink that might be cute so that's going to be my next project. I'm using my backup machine because I had it already out because I was using it for the top stitching. So I just decided to go ahead and use it to finish up the waistband area. And my other machine is on the floor right now covered up from taking it into the shop. This is Simplicity 9645. This is just a closer view of it. And I want to make view A, which is the view here that the model is wearing. This pattern is rated as easy. What I really love about it is that each view has gathered sleeves. I think that that is so nice. So I plan to use the pink fabric to make this garment and then I'm going to mix in some leftover scraps that I had in the same fabric but in a different color. I think what I want to do is have the body of the garment and the sleeves be pink and then I want one of these yoke areas here at the top in the shoulder area. I want one of those to be this color here and then 
the neckline. I think the neckband, I want it to be this color too, and then the rest of it to be this pink. Okay, this is the front and this is the back, and then these are the separate yoke pieces, so they will get sewn to the correct part of the front, and then the same thing will happen on the back. And then after that, I will put these two together, flip them on top of each other, right sides together, sew down the side seams, and then the top will be ready for sleeves. And then I was gonna grab the neckband and then neckband and then hemming. So this should be pretty easy. So I was about to sew up the shoulder area before I sew up the sides. And after looking at this, I don't want the back piece to be the opposite of this. I'd rather have this beige color on the same side as the beige color is on the front. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take these yolks off and then cut them out again and put the pink one on this side and the beige one on this side so that they can both match up. I recut the yolks and now they're all on the same side, the pink with the pink and the beige with the beige. I put the sleeves in and you can barely see the gathers because the fabric is so thick. I do need to put the neckband on and then finish off any hemming that I want to do and then the top will be all finished. So it's been a couple days since I finished the top and also these shorts. I decided to just pair the shorts with a denim shirt that I picked up from a thrift store. And all I did here is just folded the shorts up two times to create a little cuff at the bottom. So I paired this top with a pair of pants that I made in the same fabric and this has just made a very cozy outfit even though I don't have the gathers here like I thought I would. I'm still okay with it and I really like the top and I can always make it again in a fabric that's not as thick. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. Okay, so you know how when you stay in a hotel, most of the towels are white. So something that I've started doing is taking a clothespin and clipping it to the towels that I use. And that way, I know which towel is mine. And if you have multiple people using different towels, you can even buy clothespins in different colors. I haven't done that. But you can do it. I saw it on Amazon. So I'll link to some different colored clothespins below if you're interested. But yeah, I love doing this now. And it has really made a difference when we travel.